GBR, or Global Biotech Revolution, uh, was, a, was founded because of a very personal journey that I had. Uh, I came to Cambridge as a PhD student uh, and was very excited to be here. My own uh, experiences in looking at biotech in India, New Zealand and Singapore showed me the diversity of what the biotech industry is in different parts of the world. And I wanted GBR to be a platform where smart, passionate, well-educated young people from different parts of the world get an opportunity to debate the pressing issues in the industry uh, with people who run uh, the leading companies, uh, government bodies, and, and media organizations. So GBR was meant to be a connection platform for two generations from different parts of the world. The core values for GBR are connect, grow, and challenge. Connect is to connect young people to each other, but also to connect them to the next generation. In terms of grow, is to grow each person's own knowledge, skills, and perspectives, but also to grow the, their own careers and the industry and think of what they can do to do that. And for challenge, it's both a personal as well as um, a challenge with other people. So in terms of a personal challenge, it's challenging yourself on what, when you are a leader in 2050, what sort of issues and what sort of leadership uh, roles can you be in? And a challenge to challenge the current leaders about what is happening with the industry right now and, and how can we challenge and improve it and how can it look better in the next 20, 30 years? There's two key challenges that are discussed in terms of growing GBR. At the very beginning, four years back when GBR was founded, it, it was a very, it, it was and still is a very visionary organization. And a lot of people felt uh, the ambition was something they couldn't quite absorb. So in terms of finding the right advisors, finding the right supporters, and the people to run such a visionary organization was a challenge. Right now for GBR, the challenge is to look at the future, how we see GBR to be a global biotech forum where, where leaders from the industry get a Chatham House rules setting to discuss the challenges. Whilst for the younger generation, our challenge is to see the projects that they come through with the Voices of Tomorrow competition, how that translates into true ventures that can make an impact. With any sort of knowledge-based organization, such as GBR, uh, my perception of this is the more you put into these organizations, um, the more you get out of it. Um, being involved with GBR um, as organizers of events or organizers of initiatives gives people a lot of um, personal development experience. The leaders of tomorrow who so far uh, come from 42 different countries, they get uh, the benefit of, of topics and experience of, of different speakers who they normally would not have met. Uh, but the most benefit from GBR is to think of the solutions, the solutions of where to take your career, the solutions on what sort of ventures you can be building from the knowledge that you're gaining at events like Gap Summit. So far, GBR has had two GAP summits, and in these two events, we've had 200 leaders of tomorrow come through uh, from 35 and 42 countries, respectively. So the fact to the lead up to, it, to these events, we've managed to get such a mixed discipline and mixed culture of people coming together um, is a key achievement for us. We've also seen 
the GBR and the GAP Summit concept translate into different parts of the world now. So it started off in Cambridge, and we're now starting to see it translate in Washington, D.C., in Mexico, in Singapore. And that outcome of the GAP summits talking about regional issues and regional innovations has been very rewarding for us. From the innovation competitions that we've run, for example, the one we ran in Washington last year, we've seen two patents and two companies spin through from the 10 teams that came there. And from both the global bioinnovation competitions, we are very keen to see in the next five years how these ideas translate further.